Chavez Jr. might be fighting Gennady Golovkin for July 12th this year, according to top-ranked President Bob Arum. Chavez Jr. presented with the fight, so he's been offered the Gennady Golovkin fight, and um, it, I'm unsure at what weight this would be at. Uh, I don't think Chavez Jr. can make 168 anymore, but, um, uh, sorry, I don't think he can make 160, uh, the middleweight uh, limit anymore, and I believe if this fight were to happen, it would be at the super middleweight limit, which would give Chavez Jr. a definitive weight advantage. Um, however, you know, Gennady Golovkin uh, has been really being pushed into this a spot where it, it's mass appeal, it's a pay-per-view fight, there's a lot of money on the line, Chavez Jr. has a huge fan base, and has been on pay-per-view already with the likes of Sergio Martinez. So, um, this would be an excellent, excellent fight if it were to happen. Uh, this is what Bob Arum had to say. I spoke with Chavez Jr. on Saturday and presented a proposal to face Golovkin. It's a fight we would do on July 12th at the Forum in Los Angeles. Aram told Carlos Navais, and this is all according to BoxingScene.com. Um, you know, this is a huge, huge fight. And according to Golovkin, this is the fight he wants the most. Um, and I'll, I'll give you the quote right here. Uh, you know, shout out to Ben Thompson. I believe he did this interview. If you could say one fighter at 160 you want to fight, who would it be? Do you, do you think you can still make 160? There you go. Um, so Golovkin definitely wants the fight. And Chavez actually mentioned Golovkin in his post-fight interview after he beat Brian Vera for the second time. So it looks like this is a direction HBO is heading into. It looks like Chavez Jr. He's probably going to accept this fight. I'm sure he's getting big money for it. And, you know, Golovkin's been waiting to fight a guy like Chavez. This will definitely make for an excellent fight. I think Chavez has a heck of a chin. And he has a type of determination to go 12 rounds with Golovkin. And he'd be one of the first guys to do that in a very long time. Because, you know, uh, recently we've seen Golovkin knock out everybody. He's he's been in the ring with so this is definitely a guy that can stand in there and, and definitely take some punishment and he's the kind of guy that can take Golovkin into deep rounds and um, it's it's hard to say if he can uh, pose a huge threat for Golovkin since what he likes to do is fight on the inside and um, you know, he does a little bit of both. He can box off the back foot. We've seen Chavez Jr. do that before. But I don't think that's the right strategy. Because all the other guys that have tried to do that against Golovkin always, you know, find themselves on the canvas. So, you know, Chavez has to push the pressure on Golovkin to win this fight. He's got to, you know, go to the body, you know, smother him, go get on the inside and just... You know, maul him. He's got to be dirty on the inside and uh, use his head a bit. You know, bang, bang to the body. He's got to throw that signature left hook. And um, he's got to take the counter away from Golovkin. That's how he, he can potentially win this fight. Uh, this is a great fight, and uh, I can't wait for it to happen. Let me know what you guys think. Golovkin versus Chavez. It just might happen. July 12th. Alright, it is what it is, guys. Peace out.